If you were living in New Albany during the 1830s, your mailing address would have been Hope, Ohio. Not New Albany, but Hope. I'm historian Dennis Kazee, and today we'll share the story of Hope in this look back at New Albany history. New Albany is currently home to roughly 11,000 people, but there were only 4,000 residents as recent as 20 years ago. That means most of us have only known our current post office at 102 West Main Street. Like most things in New Albany, that means that post office is relatively new, only opening in September of 1999. On May 15, 1838, New Albany's first post office opened with the name of Hope. James Stidman was postmaster, and no one knows if he chose the name or why it was chosen. Perhaps they were hoping the new town that was founded the year before would survive. We do know the name difference caused lots of mail sent to New Albany never reaching its destination. On November 12, 1886, to correct the problem, the name was changed to New Albany, causing old letters addressed to Hope to be quite rare. By 1872, the post office was located at 3 North High Street in the country store located there. Eventually, there was enough mail that they built a post office building across the street at the turn of the century. Of interest, Dorothy Miller became New Albany's first female postmaster in 1942 when all the men were away at war. During the 1950s, the New Albany Lions Club petitioned Washington, D.C to add rural delivery to parts of Plain Township. Most of the township mail, prior to the change, was being delivered to the Westerville or the Black Lick post offices. With the addition of all the mail for Plain Township, the old post office on High Street could no longer handle all the mail. This area close to the future Henson Amphitheater served as home to the post office from the 1960s through 90s. In the late 1990s, it became apparent that the growing town would soon outpace the building. So on September 25th, 1999, the last mail was sent from this location and service began on Main Street. History continues to be made today as the men and women of the Postal Service deliver our mail in the midst of a pandemic. We hope they all stay safe and that the pandemic ends soon. Perhaps our first postmaster, James Stidman, knew that someday in the future, the word hope would have a lot more meaning than it did in 1838. I'm Dennis Kazee, and we'll see you next time with another look back at New Albany history. Mm -hmm.